All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in again and watching this series on Web Fundamentals. I really appreciate it. And I am doing my best to try to deliver this content in a manner that I think is easy to understand and approachable. And now we've been through servers and HTTP and dipped our toe in the water a little bit, so to speak. And I thought it would be good for us to talk a little bit about APIs. Now, what is an API? Well, an API stands for Application Programming Interface. And according to Wikipedia, it's a computing interface that defines interactions between multiple software intermediaries. It defines the kinds of calls and requests that can be made, how to make them, the data formats that should be used, the conversions to follow, etc. And it's like, what? And I, I don't mean to harp on, on long and really exact definitions on something because it's good to have. But for understanding something, it might not be the best to just read that statement and try to understand what an API is. And for me, I like to try to simplify it and try to come up with analogies and try to break down what it, what it really is in terms of real life. All right. So let's try to talk about APIs in the context of real life. All right. So for me, an API is a way to interact with something. And if we take that over to real life, then let's think about what happens when you go to, for example, a grocery store. So when you go to a grocery store, what happens is you usually grab a cart or uh, something to have your groceries in. You walk around the store, you find your groceries, you put them into your cart. And once you're done, you go to the counter and you pay for whatever it is you want to buy. And that is the, let's say, API for the grocery store. That's the way that the creator of the grocery store has decided is the best way to interact with that store. They could have done it differently. They could have said, we are going to take a truck and we are going to drive that truck from door to door and we're going to try to sell our goods. But for numbers of reasons, uh, for a grocery store, that might not be the best idea because they have a lot of uh, groceries and a lot of it needs to be cool. And there's just all sorts of problems that crop up with that idea. Now, you have other businesses that do this, for example, an ice cream truck. So the API for an ice cream truck is that they actually go uh, door to door and try to sell you ice cream. So the main point here is that the API is created um, by the owner of the um, business or in the context of programming, the owner of the server. And it's basically a, let's say, map that defines how you interact with that um, business or server. So we are talking about APIs in the context of real life here, but APIs is a, um, it's, it's, um, it exists in the world of code. It decides how you can interact with a piece of software. All right, so I think it might be a little bit clearer now, but let's just do one more example. Um, so if you go to another store, let's say a clothing store, the API for a clothing store, so to speak, is that uh, you go in, you find your clothing items, and then you go and try them on, and then you go to the counter and pay for them. It's kind of a different uh, way of interacting with the store than a grocery store, because in the grocery store, you don't actually taste uh, your sa the samples before you buy them. In a clothing store, you actually do. So they have a different way of interacting 
um, with their store because that is more, um, it's, it's better for them in terms of their business. All right. So I think the point I'm trying to make here is that an API is a way to interact with something in code. It's an interface of how you're going to um, use a piece of software. And I, I've tried to make that accessible through um, making some real life examples here. And hopefully by now uh, you have a rudimentary understanding of APIs. And then we'll go and we'll deep dive a little bit and we'll try to make one and merge that with our knowledge of HTTP requests and responses and servers. So thank you so much for tuning in again, and I will see you in the next video.